Hello. So I'm just going to be giving you a tour of my new world. Uh, we're currently in my tree house. It's not actually completely finished. I think I kind of gave up on it. Bit of a, bit of a slacker like that. But as you can see, roots, branches. It's pretty damn big. You can um. I've got the. I've recently installed the Technic pack, but I've also got other stuff like the uh, the portals mod and stuff like that. So this is inside the treehouse on the ground floor. I haven't built anything down here yet. That's a jetpack. They hurt. Um, so this is my main house. It's um, built. Oh, sorry. That's confusing. Built into the swimming pool. It's built into the side of a mountain. So. Uh, I'm using the block door more add-on as well, which is pretty useful. So you can't actually the entrance to my uh, house is now concealed by the waterfall and uh, the door. But oh, this is this is my friend Andrew's kind of house. It's been blown up a few times. Um, trap hole. It, yeah. If you stand in it, you get drop down. The idea is to trick people into trying to steal the um, the diamond and then they go in there and then they fall down and die and I laugh at them being idiots. Um, anyway, that's not the really interesting thing. The interesting thing is our castle. Uh, this is our changeover run off. Uh, where am I going? Going to the castle. This links. It, I'm using a multiverse add-on as well so it links together um, multiple worlds, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> yeah, we're currently trying to uh, make a mudkip like pixel art thing on the wall. We've not finished it yet, it's what the sheep are for, for getting on the wall. By the way, none of this is built with like add-ons or anything, I mean like muck edit or whatever, we've, we've built all of this ourselves. Um, so this whole castle, most of the castle was actually Andrew, not me, but um, still. Whilst I have show you, um, I will show you Find people of Minecraft, yeah? My maze, wherever my maze is hiding. I think it's over this side of the wall, yeah. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> Oops. This is on top of Andrew's maze, but we're not going to go in there because it's not that exciting. What is exciting is my maze. Sorry, I'll stop that. Have you guys noticed that they've added wind when you're at high altitudes? It's really actually quite annoying. The noise is just loud and I don't like it. So yeah, I've got a nice rule of walls rule here for the um for the maze. Um yeah, so I'm just gonna have a quick run through the maze. Uh, you probably won't be able to find the way to the end because even I can't yeah. <laughs> even I can't remember the way through this maze. And as you can see up on the minimap in the top right, the maze is Mahusif. Yeah, I might be uploading some more interesting things soon because uh, I haven't been playing Minecraft much lately because my friend Andrew is um, he he's his computer basically can't handle the Technic pack and he's getting a new laptop. I think it's supposed to be coming today, so we might be playing again and then we'll start start on building some more exciting projects. I mean, if you want to comment and suggest things, then that would be wonderful. We might be able to appease you. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I have no idea where I, I know where I am in the maze, but I have no idea how to get out of here. I haven't played in this maze for a while, so... Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, I... Yeah, I'm going to cheat so I can show you the, the rest of the maze. Um, right, 
also worth mentioning I've set up like a series of traps so that firstly that's the first way through but obviously you can't get through because I mean you could get someone else through I guess but I'm not going to do that the next trap is lava hole and there's also the uh, click this button to open the door which I'll press it from behind so you can see what happens and you're supposed to get rushed down into the hole underground and you get trapped down there but uh, I don't really want to so I'm just going to skip out that, that that exciting part of the uh, tour now I have to remember how to find the actual button uh, this could take me a while, sorry guys <laughs> I think it's somewhere over here Yes, I know I'm cheating massively, but what are you going to do? No, no, no. Oh, Where is it? Oh yeah, I will admit I used inventory edits to get the um, glowstone, obviously. I mean, come on, seriously, you think I'm going to sit around in the nether collecting that for hours and hours? No. But the thing is, I needed something to light up the maze on the inside, and I didn't want to put torches all over all the walls, because it would have looked, like, too crowded, you know what I mean? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Ah, here we are. Right. Da -da 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 -da. I think that should have worked. Oh yeah, here's another trick if you uh, use this. Oh, it's broken. Right, never mind. So now, oh there, sorry. In theory, the door should. Yeah, the door's open. Ooh. Next maze is a giant maze of ice. Yet again, cannot remember how to get through here. It's really annoying if you smash any of the walls, they start leaking everywhere and it, and it just turns into complete chaos. And obviously I had to inventory edit for the ice because, you know, ice isn't a pick upable item. Um, anyway, I'll stop showing this because it's amazing. Uh, get me out of here. The maze is, um, this is the last maze, so I mean, once you get to the end of this maze, there's, there's more to do, but it's not finished yet. So, that's all. Thanks for watching.